Hello everybody and thank you very much for joining me again. Uh, quite a while ago I done a video uh, demonstrating for you how you can send USB signal through DeX to Shadow PC using a service or software called Virtual Here and the service Zero Tier which allowed you to connect the Shadow PC and Samsung DeX into one virtual network. And I do believe this video was or still is the easy to follow but the Zero Tier part to setting up Zero Tier it is a bit confusing for some of some of you. So I decided to have a quick look and find the easier way to make Shadow PC and the Samsung DeX to be connected into a one virtual home network. And in this video we'll demonstrate for you how everything is connected the new way and I will use the Logitech G27 USB steering wheel to play Need for Speed Heat on Shadow PC or stream from Shadow PC while everything's connected to my Samsung DeX setup which is the Galaxy Tab S6 connected to this ultra wide monitor and basically I'm going to play this game using this steering wheel and the pedals connected. I haven't connected the gear shift because it's just uh, I decided not to bother with that. So first thing, um, I'm screen recording my ultra wide monitor so sometimes you will see the picture showing up from a screen and the aspect ratio will be obviously it's, it's not the YouTube video so uh, not the standard YouTube video size so just I'm letting you that, letting you that know. To get all this working um, you will need two things. You still need virtual here service or program which is chargeable and it used to be that the virtual here allowed you to use one USB device for free but now they're giving you a uh, five uses if that makes sense. So when you used it this service for five times as a trial sadly after that you will have to pay. I will leave a link in the description below for you to go and check it out more about virtual here and basically the prices and everything. I do have the license and I paid for this program because I, I find this program very useful for me so I paid it. And the instead of using zero tier I'm going to use a new virtual home network connection service called Tailscale. It's not new for other devices but it's new on Android because it's about a couple of weeks ago maybe a month ago I can't remember right now how long I had this Tailscale installed in my Galaxy Tab S6 but this is fairly new um, app on the Google Play Store that allows you to do this. I already have the Tailscale installed and configured. Configurating the Tailscale on Android and on the Shadow PC is absolutely easy. That's all you need to do is install the app on your Galaxy uh, on the Samsung DeX, install the software on the Shadow PC, log in using Google account or Microsoft account and once you're logged in, boom, the both devices are connected. So what you see right now in front of you is the tail scale running on my Samsung DeX and I have three devices currently connected to my home network. So the desktop dash IJOG, this is my work PC. The desktop KO is the, the another work PC and the shadow obviously is the shadow PC. There is Note 9 at the moment because I just disconnected Note 9. And this automatically gives me, here you go Galaxy Tab S6, gives me the um, my IP which is 100.71.207.84. And the difference between tail scale and the zero tier, the zero tier allowed you to invite other people to connect to your network where tail scale allows you to do that but for that feature to work you will have to pay. The free version allows you to connect up to 100 devices, your devices under one account, would it be Google or would it be Microsoft account, which one you're using to connect. With, with zero tier you just log in and send the network key or network ID number to anyone who you want to invite to a network and then they just basically enter this network ID and connect. So that's the difference. I will leave a link to a video to one of the guys on YouTube who's explaining how what the tail scale is and etc. I've basically that's how I found out about this. I found his video after watching his video I was waiting for months until the Tailscale finally launched the Android app. Tailscale is connected, at the top it says activated and the same is right now happening on a Shadow PC as I can see all these devices here showing up. I do believe there is an option for me to go to um, admin panel, I will show you on the Shadow PC side because it's much easier to go through, um, go through um, the window side. So that's that and another program that I said you're going to have to use it's called virtual here and it's already detecting that I'm using a wired keyboard and a wired mouse. This is the USB cable that comes from the um, Logitech G27 and I'm using um, Ugreen 9-in-1 USB-C hub because it has three ports and I can't find any other USB-C hub that I, I was planning to use so I'm using this because I need three USB connections for keyboard mouse and obviously G27 steering wheel. So I'm going to connect right now the steering wheel into the USB-C hub 
And let me check if you go. The steering wheel being detected. So it's doing this calibration thing, but not fin finishing the calibration because it's not the Windows or now is detected, connected to, is connected to Galaxy tablet or Samsung DeX. And straight away I got the window popping up saying allow virtual here USB server to access G27 racing wheel. I'm going to say yes, allow and allow one more time. So it's sometimes asking once, sometimes twice. So I'm just click OK on the both of them. Next, let's open Shadow PC. Uh, straight away I'm getting 1920 by 1080 p resolution. If I go to a display settings, and under recommended, I'm just going to increase to 3440 by 1440p. And boom, here we go. I have a shadow PC going in a full screen mode. So now if I go to the bottom right hand corner and I right click on the Tailscale app and I click Admin Console, it will open up this. Uh, and here we go. I'm getting all these devices that are connected. So the top one, it says 34 minutes ago connected, 13 hours ago, one minute ago. This is connected to October 16th. That's when the Note 9 is last time connected and the shadow PC says it's connected about less than a minute ago. So that's fine. And now if I'm going to run virtual here program on the shadow PC and when you installing this server virtual here server on your Galaxy tablet, you need to install the Windows client on a shadow PC and inside the Windows client, if I click on the USB-C hub and specify the hub, that's where I entered the IP addresses of the Tailscale app that is giving me. So the top one, I uh, know the second one, I believe is the Galaxy Tab S6. And the first one is Note 9 when I'm connecting Note 9 to Tailscale, that's the IP address it's gonna get. So it's basically IP address inside the Tailscale that has been assigned to your Galaxy device, plus 75, 75 port number for virtual here to connect to your device. So right now I get the list under Hub and I get G27 steering wheel, USB-C card reader because the Ugreen 91 USB-C hub has a card reader inside, inside and virtual here. So if I'm going to double click on G27 and straight away it went to an actual position that is supposed to when you connect it to Windows device. Just to make sure that it's working, I'm going to find, where is it? It sh I should have somewhere here. Um, let's search for Logitech, Logitech gaming software. If I'm opening that up, this is in steering wheel. So as you can see, it's, it's detecting and it's basically working and the pedals if we're gonna click on the pedals it should work as well I'm not sure why it's not detected but hopefully it's gonna work so steering wheel connected virtual here is connecting between Samsung DeX and the shadow PC tail scale making a connection now it's time to play the game so we're gonna open up the Z need for speed heat so I'll be back when the game is running so I'm inside the game and now quickly I will go to settings and let's go to a controllers uh, controller. That's the steering wheel uh, pick, being picked up. It's explaining, obviously it's not the same picture, uh, but uh, representing the G27 steering wheel, but by looks of it, everything is fine. And under graphics, full screen, and it says 3440 by 1440p resolution. So if I'm gonna go play solo, it's right now loading the game. And basically that's it, it's tail scale. It's super easy to connect your shadow PC to your Samsung DeX in the virtual home. Network, that's all you need is Google account, Microsoft account. You install the app on the both devices, log in, and boom, that's it. It's all working. The virtual here is still sadly paid version when you want to use it, but if you're planning to use this kind of setup, I think the price of the virtual here is about $40 or so. And to be honest, it's, it's not cheap, but it's not super expensive. And if you're planning to play a lot of games on a shadow PC with the USB peripherals, would it be a steering wheel, would it be a, a, the flight flight shifter and, and etc. It's, it's a great great way to... Uh... So let's go. So as you can see, I am driving the car, so I should find the button for, for uh, the camera. And... Is totally different gaming experience compared to a controller and when you think that I'm using my Samsung deck setup to connect to uh, connect to uh, the shadow PC and play this game from a shadow PC streaming to my Samsung Dex and I'm using G27 steering wheel to play this it's it's mind-blowing for me how it's even possible even when I use this already so many times but it's like super amazing. So let me go and find some race now. And uh, we're gonna do a bit of racing with the, to see if I'm actually a better driver right now with the steering wheel. So I found the race and I'm basically 
gonna try to win using the steering wheel I need to be the first one so as you can see the tires the tire is moving my tire is basically going around whoa what the hell? I press reverse I next up the pedals uh, okay anyway let's go let's go and see if I'm gonna win streaming quality of a shadow PC amazing sometimes I get the a little pixelated things happening just because of the uh, probably the resolution that I'm trying to stream from Shadow PC, which is 3440 by 1440 resolution. But overall, okay, overall, I'm just not doing great here. Maybe because it's raining, and I need to do uh, three laps, and hopefully, I will win. Okay. Okay, that's not good. Even the steering will not help me to be a better driver. So after, I would say, a couple hours of practice, uh, I'll be able to play. By the way, force feedback and the spring, spring, um, everything is working. G27, I expected, as expected. Um, literally, it feels like I'm connecting this steering wheel to actual gaming PC and is not streaming across the internet to the Shadow Cloud Gaming service where my service, uh, my, my server or my account is right now being used to stream game from France. That's my closest location of the, of the, um, my, my virtual computer. So as you can see, I am not doing great. I'm a third one. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, go, 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 go. So far, I'm uh, not doing great. Still, I'm enjoying like amazing. I'm enjoying like series to retry, retry this event. Let's do one more time. Let's do one more time. Okay, so this time I hope I'm gonna be a better driver. Yeah, steering wheel gives me a bit of uh, a bit of resistance when I'm when I'm turning the wheel. Another game I was trying to play. Why? What the hell? Another game I was trying to play was Euro Truck Simulator 2 with this kind of setup, and it's amazing. But I thought I'm gonna use the Need for Speed Heat instead of demonstrating this for you instead of the Euro Truck Simulator because this is a bit more fun instead of just driving the truck. So we're going. Okay. And the wheel wheel turns back as I expected. With no literally it feels like this wheel is being connected to actual gaming PC instead of the um, our gaming service. It just even the wheel, like I said, doesn't help me <laughs> to be a better driver. Oh my goodness, I'm so rubbish at this. And I need to overtake this guy and try to be a number one. Okay, okay, just don't mess it up, Mr. P now. Don't mess it up, Mr. P now. Don't mess it up. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Obviously, if I had the gears gears set up to be uh, manual, the gear shifter will work and etc. On the gear shifter, there is a D pad where I can go through menus and etc. But I said I just connected the steering with the USB key with a mouse for better connection. So I'm number one. And that's how I can use my G27 steering wheel and connect it to Shadow PC to play racing games in the cloud gaming service. Thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.